Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you had a good night's rest. Hopefully you didn't get too much snow yesterday. Woke up uh, in the morning with snow here, some school closures and some a couple hour delays and then get halfway uh, out to work and it's dry as a bone, no snow anywhere. So uh, we'll see uh, what happens the rest of the weekend. Uh, they're saying coming up is going to be nice. So. December 9th, 1863, as we read from Revival today. Training our children. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. G. Campbell Morgan was born in Tetbury, England, on the farm of George and Elizabeth Morgan on December 3rd, 1863, his father was a Baptist preacher and would mentor him throughout his weakened childhood. When Morgan was 10 years of age, his father would take him to hear D.L. Moody preach for the first time, and he was inspired to be a preacher. Three years would pass, and he would preach his first sermon. Two years more, and he would be preaching in churches across the country. Morgan would grow to become one of the most influential preachers of his generation in England and America, crossing the Atlantic 54 times. The influence we have as parents is so very important in our children's lives. It is never too early to begin teaching your children about Christ and bringing them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, as it says in Ephesians 6, 4. The Apostle Paul recognized the early training of young Timothy, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy 3.15 Vladimir Lenin, the communist leader, once stated, Give me a child for the first five years of his life, and he will be mine forever. Lennon understood something that many Christian parents fail to understand. What you place into a child's heart early will be there the rest of his life and will influence their decisions, direction, and destiny. Take time today to invest in your children's lives. Be sure the next time you are at church that you take time for the children. Find a ministry where you can be involved in the training of the next generation for Christ. As Christians, we are never more than one generation away from extinction. It is our privilege and responsibility to pass the truth on to them and then have the joy to see them walking in that truth. I suppose, I don't know about you, some people say they have no regrets in their life. Um, I have quite a few, uh, some that I'll never be able to do anything about, but, um, but I just think to myself, uh, some days I, I, I look at my children, I love my children. And, um, my kids will say at, at times, oh, dad, you were a good dad or whatever, but there are things that I would change now if I could. And um, to understand even uh, my upbringing uh, to understand that the most influential part of my life was not good until uh, my parents conversion there were some things there that uh, weren't good and they've uh, stuck with me through my life I agree with what that says there but God can help us overcome those things um, this song I learned because uh it spoke to me um, as the birth of our daughter. Uh, years later when this song came out, I thought, wow, that was me. So maybe uh, maybe it's you as well. Maybe now you have grandchildren and you can help try to influence them uh, for the Lord. I saw two little feet Walking in my footsteps I heard a little voice Asking things I didn't know I touched some time 
twined fingers that reached out for direction if she's gonna follow me I need to know just where I'll go if she's following me then Lord I need to follow you if I'm a living example I need a whole lot of your life. If the steps I take will influence her forever, I can't afford to lose. Lord, help me make it right. I've wasted so much time Seeking after worldly pleasures With every passing day You knocked at my heart's door so I gave you rejection but you just kept pride on loving You sure got my attention now Through daddy's little girl If she's following me The Lord I need to follow you I'm a living example I need a whole lot of your life If the steps I take Will influence her forever I can't afford to lose Lord help me Make it right. I can't afford to lose. Lord, help me make it right. Probably the greatest treasure that we are ever entrusted with uh, outside of the gift of salvation is a child and uh, my prayer is today that if you're listening to this uh, that you will take those children that are close to you um, grandchildren great-grandchildren and tell them about the Lord and I'll, I'll tell you this even with our grandchildren I've watched uh, the little older that they get it seems as if the stories and the talks about the church or Bible or, you know, they haven't been in church for a good while because of COVID and all that stuff. And it's, and I fear sometimes we're going to lose them. Um, I, I, I find that Satan fights hard, um, even the minds of those young children to want to do everything but listen to what Poppy has to say, um, about Jesus and about God, but you know, when it all comes down to it, it is the training and the teaching, but then the Spirit of the Lord will do the rest of the work. So we pray that God reaches uh, my family and your family today. Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us, Lord. You've entrusted us with great treasures, Lord, and I pray, dear God, that you will bless us, Lord, to not just say the words, but to lead them in the path that they should go. Lead by example, Lord. We love you. We thank you for all you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks, coming up on the weekend. Uh, coming up tomorrow on Friday, and of course in the weekend we got some kids at the church, I think, that are going to come and do uh, a little nativity for us, so uh, we're looking forward to that. God bless you. Have a great day.